some point uh, okay api not not that yet rick and morty api okay this looks good rm request in point um that sounds okay mm -hmm. uh, when is this macbook gonna get here I, I never thought this day would come through like a 15 inch MacBook Air. I mean, that's surprising. Now, the thing is that I was using the Vivo book as my, my daily machine, except for when I code iOS stuff. So now I have to go back to Mac OS as my daily. I don't mind it. It's just that, I, I mean, I was on Windows. Now I gotta go back. I wasn't expecting this whole MacBook Air situation, but I am super excited to try it. And I'm gonna bring it with me to, to Portugal because I'm going on a trip. It's gonna be fun. I, I just really want to get this freaking machine delivered. Oh, finally. Well, okay. You know what? I'm actually gonna go to the office. I'm gonna take this box with me and then we'll, we'll unbox it there. It'll be better. All right, okay. Let's see what's in this box for once. I do wanna hear your thoughts about, like what do you guys think about the MacBook Air 15 inch? What, do you think it's something that it's gonna sell or is it a laptop that you guys would get i'm curious to hear your thoughts honestly okay so macbook air 15 inch that's super satisfying and that too. let's take a look at this this reminds me of the 2017 intel macbook pro the thin ones Obviously, once you open it up, it's not at all the same design language, but yeah, just the size. I can never get over of midnight. Like, it's such a beautiful color. It just becomes a mess after a while. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, for reals. Charging cable, it's the same. It's braided. It's freaking nice, like always. The only thing I do wish was that the tip was actually blue to match the laptop and everything. That's about it. Same charging cable. So for the manual, it's all practically the same thing, I think. So we've got the blue stickers, then I guess the quick setup guide probably, and then some warnings and things like that, I guess, compliance stuff. Then the brick, I guess. This is, oh, this is different. This is the 35 watt, yeah, okay, yeah, I see. 35 watt brick. This is pretty cool. This is the first time I see it in person actually, so that's nice. Two USB-C ports. That's pretty cool. So I just wanna open this thing with you guys, okay? Let's see. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty freaking cool. First impressions, this thing is big, like 15 inch big, but light, like really freaking light. If I was to compare this to my M2 Air, look at this. Usually people steer away from getting 15 inch laptops because they tend to be significantly thicker and heavier than smaller laptops. But with this new Air, I mean similar thickness at 0.45 inches instead of 0.44 inches and the weight is only a 0.5 pound difference which is pretty darn good. I don't want to take away from the LG Grand because that thing is lighter and thinner so if you're a Windows person and you care about portability, that might be a great choice for you. So this is basically a 13 inch M2 Air but larger. Design language is exactly the same. Literally, the laptop feels identical, like the hinges for the lid, the keyboard, the force touch and the trackpad. Of course, because it's now wider, the keyboard sort of has more room to breathe, but it's the exact same size as the 13 inch Air. There's just more of a gap on the sides this time around. 
but there are differences to this new air so first of all of course the screen size the only thing is that even though it's now a 15 inch screen it's still a display with 224 ppi delivering 500 nits of brightness it's not something that i think will bother me but i guess time will tell second difference the audio system so the 15 inch air comes with a six speaker system with four cancelling woofers spatial audio is supposed to be super dope so i'm excited to enjoy that i do wish they would have moved the speaker grill but it seems to be within the same place third difference stock you now get a 8 core cpu and a 10 core gpu unlike the 13 inch where the base model only came with a 8 core gpu and that's pretty much aside from the size and weight of course i think you're getting your money's worth by getting a larger screen and maybe those two extra gpu cores this laptop still comes with wi-fi 6 bluetooth 5.3 a 1080p webcam an audio jack two thunderbolt 4 ports it's 90 percent the same machine to the point that it still mimics that inability to connect dual displays so yeah it's a bummer not to see dual screen support i also do think it would have been awesome to have the base model come preloaded with 16 gigabytes of ram that would have been cool you can of course still upgrade this to 24 gigabytes of ram and 2 terabyte of storage if you wish stock it does come with 256 gigabyte but I think it's now starting to feel like it's not enough and if you really want to you can get their 70 watt power adapter to get this thing to charge faster. So that's an option that's about as good as it gets with their add-ons. Now my issue is that in the states this is definitely a great machine for the price. Absolutely. I think that at $12.99 if you want the size it's a no-brainer. Plus, they did reduce the price of the M1 Air to $999 and the M2 Air to $1099, which is great. With educational discounts, these are a steal. However, my issue is that for us Canadians, I don't know if it's all that worth it. The base model in Canada is $1749 and when you upgrade the RAM and the storage to 16 gigabytes and 512 gigabytes respectively, it becomes $2250 Canadian. For practically the same money, you're getting a level entry base model 14 inch M2 Pro refurbished. So I'm like, ugh. Is it really that worth it for us Canadians? If you're huge on getting that extra inch and weight savings, I guess it is. But if you don't care that much, I mean, the upgraded air might not be that worth it. Now, I've been recently using my VivoBook for a bit now as my main coding machine. I mainly do web development projects on it and have fun relearning technologies. I really wasn't expecting Apple to release this. I thought it was just rumors and it was never going to happen, but I'm putting my Windows laptop aside so I can do a proper one month review with this. This will become my daily, especially for web development projects. I'm sure it'll handle my very beginner friendly iOS journey, but when I get my groove back with iOS development, I'm probably moving back to my 14 inch Pro. Remember, I'm a tech YouTuber for a living, so that's why I go through laptops a lot. I like using them so I can give you guys some real world feedback and not read you a spec sheet. As of right now, I think this might be a great laptop for students in the US, especially software engineering and computer science students. So this was my unboxing and my quick overview at this laptop. I'll make a full review in a month and I'll let you guys know how it's been. I'm actually going to bring this to my trip to Portugal, so I'll have a nice overall review for you all. I'm signing out guys, take care, talk soon.